I'm Joseph Fries. I'm Ian Wilkinson. Today's topic is Transformers for Kate Davis's ESIN 340 class at Texas A&M for Fall 2022. We all know that Transformers are electromagnetic devices that either step up or step down AC voltage. Transformers are all around us. We see them on light poles, next to buildings, in subdivisions, and so many other places. These transformers are known as step-down transformers. They're converting the incoming currents down to roughly 120 to 240 volts that our houses are used to work, used to working with. It is not uncommon to see power lines being rated for 300 kilovolts to 750 kilovolts, or even higher, depending on the surrounding areas. We can see smaller versions of a step-down transformers even in our phones, computer, or different electronic chargers. You probably notice that after some time, your charger will begin to heat up. This is because they will begin to produce a waste in heat, since nothing is perfectly efficient. If we did not have a step-down transformer, there might be a light show happening. If you know what I mean. Transformers are made of three main components. The first is a ferromagnetic core, and the other two pieces are the primary and secondary windings. These are the coils on either side that either cause the step-up or the step-down ratio for the voltage. A step-down transformer is going to have two sets of coils where the primary electrical voltage that is coming in is going to have a set amount, and then the secondary where the output will be set to a designated amount of turns so that it reduces the output voltage to the appropriate amount. For example, if the primary had 100 coils and the secondary had 50 coils, the voltage would be half the size of the primary output. I digress. Now to progress. This would obviously be the opposite for when we are working with the other type of transformer, known as the step up transformer. There will be more turns on the secondary coil than there would be on the primary so that the output voltage is increased. To summarize, AC voltage in causes a current via EMF. The magnetic field is directed from the primary to the secondary winding via the core. Depending on the ratio between the sets of coils, the voltage out is either increased or decreased. The end.